in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about teleport service inside of Roblox Studio. If you're unaware of what teleport service is inside of Roblox Studio, I'm going to explain it to you. So teleport service is simply the service that we use to teleport players to another game, another place, or even another server. That's what it is responsible for. And how we're going to do that is we need to start off with a script. Now I want you to know is that you can teleport players from a server script or a local script so that doesn't really matter. For me personally I'm going to be using a server script however so I'm going to be adding a script into server script service. I'm going to click on the plus icon to the right of that and I'm going to add in a script. Next inside of our script right here let's go ahead and start off by getting our local teleport service. And what this is going to be equal to is it's going to be equal to game colon get service parentheses quotation marks and this will be teleport service. So let's go down a little bit right here and now we're going to create a local function. We're going to name this teleport player and it's going to take parentheses right here. And now inside of here we're simply going to say teleport service colon teleport and I want you to know there are a few different things we can do. There's teleport, there's teleport async and there's all these other teleports right here. The main three that you're going to use are teleport, teleport async, and teleport to private server. When you use teleport to private server, it's going to teleport a group of players to a reserve server or a private server pretty much. If you use teleport async, this is simply for a group of players, and then teleport is simply for a player. However, teleport async can be used with one player as well. I'm personally going to be using teleport async right here, and when you start off with teleporting, you need a place ID, which is going to be the place that the players are teleported to. And I'm going to show you how to get this. So right now, we need to go ahead and make sure that our game is published to Roblox. And if you haven't done that, you need to go up to this game settings button inside of the home tab. Click on that. You should be able to give your game a name, a description. You don't have to worry about anything else. In fact, you don't even need a description. Just a name is all right. And then you simply click on save and it will publish your game to Roblox. So make sure you go ahead and do that and we can continue on with the tutorial. After that, we can go up to the view tab right here and open up the asset manager. Inside the asset manager, you'll notice a little folder right here called places. And when we open this up, you'll notice a place named after the name of our game. Now my game is named Co's Tutorial because this is the same place that I used for the Co's Tutorial I made a few days ago. And it simply hasn't updated to just the tutorial name yet, but that's all right. And if you right click this, you'll notice they'll say copy ID to clipboard and you can press this and it's going to give you the ID of the place that you had right here. However, if you want to teleport to a different place, you can simply right click down here and press add new place. And what this is going to do, it's going to have a whole new place right here for you to go to. And if you double click on this, you can open up that place and it's pretty cool. But we can copy the ID of this one and then paste it inside of here. After that, we're going to need the player that we want to teleport. So up here, I'm going to create a variable for our player. And this is simply going to be equal to game.players dot rusty silly band which is my avatar you might have your own avatar inside of there there are other ways to get the player but i'm just going to be using this to as an example and after our place id we can simply put a comma and now when we're using teleport async we need to supply an array of the players we want to teleport instead of just simply the player which means that we pretty much just put the player inside of a table like this and you can have any sort of players inside of the game. Like you can have player two if you had that. You can have a whole group of players pretty much. This is pretty useful for when you want to have, say, a story game where you have everybody inside the bus that you want to send over to the game. And you could take doors as an example where you get in the elevator and everybody in the elevator goes to the game. So that's pretty much what this is used for. But anyways, now we have a place to teleport to and a player to teleport. We can go ahead and call this function. So let's go ahead and say task.wait5 and then teleport our player here. So after that we can press on the home button right here and then click on play. And one thing you'll need to know is that we cannot teleport inside of Roblox Studio. After a few seconds it should try and teleport us. And if it doesn't, that's because we need to go into the view tab and the output. All we need to do is say game.players colon wait for child rusty silly band instead of dot rusty silly band. Let's go ahead and click on play now. And after five seconds, it should give us an error saying that we're not allowed to teleport inside of Roblox Studio. Here we are. 
So if we were to go into our game, then that would be much better off. So join the game in an actual Roblox game. Right now it's attempted to teleport to a place that is restricted simply because I haven't actually published the other place. But if I were to go ahead and do that, then it would allow me to teleport to this place. But that's pretty much the basics of teleport service. Once again, it's used to teleport players to all sorts of different places, games, anything like that. And by the way, if you wanted to get the ID of a specific Roblox game, let's go ahead. I'm just going to take Treasure Hunt Simulator as an example. You can simply go up to the URL bar of your Roblox game that you want to choose. For me, this is Treasure Hunt Simulator. And this and these numbers right here are going to be your place ID. And then you can simply copy these and you are good to go. You can then paste that inside of your script and that will teleport you to that game, which in my opinion is pretty cool. So anyways, that is how we use teleport service inside of Roblox Studio. You can feel free to try and teleport yourself to all sorts of different games. Oh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.